Hello everyone, welcome again to our YouTube channel IELTS by Neil. Today we will discuss the importance of linking words and how to use the link words. So first of all, let's see what are linking words. You must have come across the words like but, however, moreover, you know, etc. Like additionally, finally, all these words, they are the linking words. So these words actually helps to connect or to show contrast in the sentences and the phrases. These words also connect the ideas. For example, in one sentence, you are telling something and in the next sentence, you start that thing with moreover. So moreover is a link word here, okay? Or furthermore. So furthermore is a link word again. All right, before I show you how to use the link words, I have to tell you why link words are important, okay? If you look at here, in IELTS writing task two, to get the band score of seven and above, we need to use cohesive devices appropriately. Now, if you remember, I must have told you that in your IELTS writing section, they judge you on four parameters. Number one is coherence and cohesion. Okay, that's number one. Number two is lexical resource, that is vocabulary. And number three is grammar. And number four is task achievement. Okay, so today we are going to cover this one because link words makes your writing more cohesive. So link words are also called cohesive devices. So to get a better score and to make sure that you know your sentences are interconnected or your information which you have written is interconnected with each other, we use link words or contractors. Now let me explain this with the help of example. So I'm going to take an example of task 2 okay, and we will see how I have used the link words and what is the importance of link words in that particular task 2. So this is our question. That is, some people think that teenage years are the happiest of our lives, while others believe adult life brings more happiness. Discuss both the views and give your opinion. So, we have to discuss both the views. Number one, number two. First view is that teenagers are happy, are more happy, okay? And second viewpoint is adults are happier okay so we have to discuss this one in the first body paragraph and this one in the second body paragraph make sure you give equal importance to both the viewpoints okay and after that you can give your opinion your opinion can be anything so this is the introduction that is being uh, done for that task two so if you look in here this is the keyword however Okay, in my opinion, sorry, not the keyword, linking one. So, however, so what is however doing? So, if, if we read it here, if you read from here, it says, humans express the idea of happiness in different ways. All right. Some have beliefs that they were more delighted when they were adolescents, means teenagers. Okay. However, the others think that they were able to please the life when they became adults. So this is showing contrast here. Because here they're talking about adolescents, means teenagers, and here they're talking about adults. Okay. So to show a contrast, you know, we need to use contractors. Okay. What are contractors? So these three words we can use as a contractors. However, yet nevertheless. You can use any of these three words here. For example, they were more delighted when they were adolescents, yet the others think, or nevertheless, the others think. Okay, whatever you want to use, you can use any of these three words. So whenever you want to show a contrast between two situations, you can use these contractors. Okay, however, yet nevertheless, these are one of a type of link words to, to show a contrast. Now, here I have said, in my opinion, 
okay so it, in IELTS writing many times you are asked your opinion so you have to learn two or three words to write your opinion because it's not a good idea to repeat the words okay so in my opinion you can write in my opinion or I believe or in my perspective okay all three are correct so for example if you're giving your opinion in the introduction and in conclusion just make sure you use different words for example introduction you have used in my opinion in conclusion you can use I believe or in my perspective okay so repetition is not a good idea in IELTS writing okay try to use different link words all the time so in this introduction we have learned contractors and giving opinion the link words for these two coming on to the body paragraph first so here is perhaps okay because and so so these are like really simple link words so I'm I'm probably not gonna explain these to you you must have heard it everywhere okay coming on to the for instance so these are the words which are used to give example okay so for instance because you know sometimes you might have to give example in both the body paragraph one and two so rather than using for instance here and the same word here again what you can do you can use the different words like for instance for example to illustrate okay so you can use for instance in the first body paragraph to illustrate in the second body paragraph so whatever you want to use it's just that you need to know wide range of linking words to make your writing more cohesive okay and not to repeat it so these are some link words for giving examples moving on to the next body paragraph it says however i've explained you this however i hope you remember this is a contrast okay now look at this keyword now look at this link word that is furthermore now what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to provide more information so whenever we want to add information we have to use these three words that is furthermore moreover or additionally okay providing information or providing more information So you can use moreover here also you can use uh, additionally also here so out of these three words you can use anything so whenever you are adding some information or adding some further sentences you can use these three words furthermore moreover or originally okay coming on to the conclusion so if you look at this one here in a nutshell this is the link word which I've used to talk about the conclusion so whenever you're writing conclusion always start it with these three i mean not these three but one of these three okay to conclude to summarize on in our show so you can write any of these words here now if we use these words you know these linking words actually links our information or ideas together so it's very important for us and it's also you know one of the parameters of scoring so make sure you use the link words always in task one and task two just to be sure i have written all the link words here like for example showing contrast you know you can use however yet nevertheless giving opinion you can use in my opinion i believe in my perspective to give example for instance for example to illustrate uh, adding information furthermore moreover additionally to write conclusion to conclude to summarize in a nutshell Okay, so here are these are the all link words. There might be more, but if you could use and learn all these link words, I'm sure you'll be easily able to score seven and above in your writing task. One pro tip I have to tell you that never repeat your link words. Okay, never repeat it. Always use different words. To show that you know the wide range of vocabulary okay so i hope with this video you have learned how to use the link words and what is the importance of link words okay thank you so much for your time today
if you have any questions related to the IELTS preparation please do let us know in the comment section below please consider subscribing to our youtube channel for more videos